All right, guys, we have a big update incoming for Watering Waves this week. We will finally be able to get our free limited 5 star Zeng Liao, and there are also a few upcoming 1.2 events to talk about, one of them being added to the game in just two days, which means a lot more rewards for us. But yeah, guys, we'll be going over everything in this video, so like, subscribe, put those notifications on to be kept updated with Watering Waves 24 7. But alright, going over the new info that Watering Waves posted today, they posted this on Twitter and it's the info for the event that gives us a free Zeng Liao. It's part of an event that has already been in the game since the start of 1.2, I'm sure we've all played this, the Moon Chasing Festival Preparation event. This event right here was even integrated in the main story so I'm sure we've all played it and have at least some point and progress in it. But okay, so it says here it will be added starting tomorrow. And how do you get a free Zeng Liao from this? Well, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is you just normally play the game and you play the event as you normally would by boosting the popularity points of this event. And once you reach the target popularity, you can acquire a 5 star resonator Zeng Liao on the event page. And the date where you can claim the Zeng Liao is between the 7th and the 28th of September, which I believe is the same time Zeng Liao's banner will be live and added to the game. And speaking of banners, this is what it will be looking like for the Zeng Liao's banner. So of course we have Zeng Liao as the featured limited 5 star, and the 4 star characters on the banner are going to be Dan Jin, Alto, and Yan Wu. Now unless you really like Zeng Liao and want more copies of him, I would not recommend pulling on this banner, there isn't that much value since we are getting him for free. And also we're getting Shorekeeper as the next limited 5 star right after this for 1.3 and she is looking like the most valuable support in the game so far. So really good character, uh, I'm sure a lot of us are going to be skipping this patch for Shorekeeper. And on top of that it got leaked that Camellia will be in 1.4. So with the recent updates I'm definitely saving my pulls for these characters. Let me know in the comments what you guys will be doing. And we also have his weapon banner that's going to be added, so we can take a quick look at that. And of course we got his signature weapon, with the 4 star options being the Mercado, the Helios Cleaver, and the Novo Burst Pistol. Before we get into the new events, for those who want to know what Zeng Liao's weapon looked like, I will put it on the screen right here. And here's what it does. And getting his weapon is definitely not a bad choice. I know a lot of us will be saving for the upcoming characters, all the hype characters coming soon, but this is definitely a good option for Zeng Liao, especially if you're looking to use him long term. Um, and uh, as the current gauntlet weapons in the game, they really aren't the best right now. And I would say aside from the battle pass weapon, because the battle pass weapon is still a really good option with a crit rate main stat, so you can go for that alternative as well. But okay, let's get into the new events guys. We actually have one new event coming out before Zeng Liao this week. And it's going to be the new limited time co-op defense event. Starting on the 5th of September, so 2 days from now. This event will be giving us 500 Ashtrites, some malleable elite class echo, premium tuners, and some shell credits. I will definitely take all the shell credits I can get. And about this event, this event can be done co-op, but I believe you still have the option to do it solo. You will just have the matchmaking option to team up with randoms or even your friends, which is always a nice option to have. That is all the events we are getting for this week. There is not that many events left for 1.2. Going over the last one, I believe it's going to be the Alloy Smell 2 event, and that's coming out in about 2 weeks from now giving us another 500 Ashtrites, some more Echoes, and some more Materials. And oh yeah, we are also getting a, um, a double drop Echo event on the 20th of September. So I believe these are all the events, if I go check real quick. And yeah, so these are all the events that will be left for 1.2. And after that, that's it for the 1.2 patch guys, we are going straight to 1.3. And that will be on the 28th of September, which is looking like a huge patch so far. For those who have been following the leaks now, 
and um, well we've been getting a lot of leaks for 1.3 and you guys know how big this patch is looking like i've been covering all the leaks and updates about 1.3 on this channel so for those who want to be kept updated about weathering waves make sure to subscribe and put those notifications on we got a massive amount of leaks last week and we can expect a lot more coming soon and the 1.4 banners might be getting officially revealed soon as well which seems like it's going to be camellia and there's another girl called dang dang i will surely make a video about it when it's confirmed they usually like to confirm the banners like the the drip market the banners at least one month before they come out or even more than that because if you guys remember the shortkeeper and uh, yohu drip marketing they decided to do it right before the 1.2 update if i remember correctly which is very good for us the players as we are able to plan ahead and know the future banners but maybe it's not the best move for them um, to generate revenue and it could be a reason why they didn't make as much money last month you know how revealing a upcoming hype character right before your other character that's about to come out might kill the hype for it it depends what character it is but that's what i think happened for 1.2 as the 1.3 character is just looking a lot better and shortkeeper of course look just look at her design she looks absolutely gorgeous but yeah guys enjoy your free zen liao i'm for sure going to be having fun with this guy love his animation and play style overall 1.2 is a very good patch they've been crazy generous with the rewards and a free 5 star, a free limited 5 star, there's not much else we can ask for, this is just crazy. Maybe maybe not the best in terms to generate revenue, but they really care for the players it shows, and they've been giving us a ton of pulls and materials, it will just get better from here, I'm sure of it. We are already getting a bunch of quality of life updates that other games haven't done in 5 years, and we're getting it in 4 free months, pretty insane. I believe we also got a few more quality of life updates that just got leaked today so i could make a video on that i will wait until we get a little bit more information there's just quite not enough to make a video about it but there's a lot of good changes incoming so if you guys enjoyed feel free to like subscribe put those notifications on i'm gonna keep you guys updated on weathering waves and we're also about to hit 10,000 subs i believe we're really really close it's kind of crazy to think about it when i started youtube and at the start of this year i had like 200 subscribers really didn't know i would come this far in only a few months at least six seven months i've been doing this and the last two months have been the best it's ever been so thank you guys for that really appreciate it that is all for this video thanks for watching see you all in the next one